Fueled by DeathCast. Yeah, I started playing uh, trombone in fourth grade, actually. Oh! And I, gave, I gave that up after a year and then I uh, played guitar for a minute. But, you know, I've, I always had an inkling. Can you hear me okay? Oh, yeah. I'd always had an inkling to uh, want to play drums. And, um, you know, back when I was going to school, like, it was it was easy to learn any instrument. Like, you know, they've since sucked that out of the curriculum of most, you know, schools these days. But when I was going to school back then, junior high, high school, you could learn any anything you wanted to learn music wise, you know, from a beginner stage to uh, advanced stage, which which was the third. Everybody was trying to get to, you know, drums three or guitar three because that was like the right. advanced thing. But it was cool because like it was such a formative time for music. And man, I had some great like um early on music teachers, Mr. Martin, Mr. Davis, like back in, back in the high school days. And, and they were super open to like, you know, we did stairway to heaven in junior high, like Holy on shit. guitar, we had a guitar two class. I hadn't made it to three. We, we did a uh, stairway to heaven and there was like 12, you know, junior high schoolers playing that song. And then, <clears throat> then eighth grade came and I was like, I want to play drums. Our, our high school music teacher, Mr. Davis from Richmond high school, um, he was a very progressive, like music teacher. And, you know, um, he, anyway, he formed this subclass called rock band and it was basically the earliest formations of Exodus. And it was, um, it was myself, Tim Agnello, um, and another guy, Eddie Claire is was, was two drummers and a guitar player, basically jamming in an attic of a music classroom. And, um, that's, kind of where and we were already listening to rock my, my friend eddie he was the other drummer he was the big kiss fan and i never so much was into kiss back then because you know sabbath was coming out with like amazing stuff like it, you know, every, every two albums a year that just pff, blew yeah. your mind. and rainbow rising and all that stuff um but that's like the earliest formations i could remember and then i transferred high schools and i was already friends with gary at that point at richmond high he didn't even play guitar yet and um, anyways, I transferred to uh, another high school <clears throat> and um, that's when I met Kirk. And then we, we formed Exodus kind of, we got a bass player and went through, went through a couple members that me and Kirk kind of like formed the band way back then with some other guys. Keith Stewart was a singer. I remember Carlton Nelson was our bass player and um, you know, it, we were a uh, three piece for a while. And then, and then Kirk showed Gary some chords and wow, that was a good idea. Right. I remember our friend Merle bought the first Iron Maiden album just because of the picture. He didn't know anything about the music. And like three weeks later, we were playing that shit at backyard parties and they thought running free was an Exodus original. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to take credit for that, but you know, um, you know, but you're right. Yeah, that's how it all started, like backyard parties. And and um, we played, we would sponsor like shows. We had one called Jug Night where we bought all this booze. And, you know, back in those days, you could you could attract a crowd just just having free beer. Yeah. You know? And um, so we 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 put on these parties and we would rent halls and, um, you know, under this fictitious we would have we would have somebody older go in and say, "Hey, we're just going to have like a little social gathering, you know," and it ended up being a rager. 